Hello and welcome to my abridged October Art Snacks unboxing. I've been really busy with a lot of commissions lately, so this is going to be a little shorter version of what I usually do, but you'll still get a good look at all the materials in this month's Art Snacks box and see me make something spooky with them. So this Art Snacks box came with, first of all, a Dum Dum Lollipop cherry flavor, one of my favorites and a really cool Art Snacks pretzel logo sticker with little skulls on it. Some Liquitex acrylic ink and electric blue. A metallic gold manga liner paint marker. A Mitsubishi pencil. And a Winsor & Newton watercolor brush. So the minute I looked at these supplies, I just saw a blue pumpkin. So that's what we're going to go with. So first of all, love this brush, which I expected to, because Winsor & Newton is a really, really great brand for watercolor. I'm excited to add this to my arsenal for sure. Now speaking of watercolor, I have to say the Liquitex acrylic ink is not my favorite personally. I'd rather just use regular watercolors honestly. Um, maybe just because of the way I paint. I found as I was working with this that it seemed to dry way too quickly. Although that is actually a selling point for this particular material is that it does dry very quickly and has a nice satin finish when it's done and it is waterproof so that's a benefit that you get that you don't get obviously with watercolor paints. Now this manga liner is my absolute favorite thing in this box. First of all the metallic gold is super solid one coat coverage. It is very very iridescent also, I love the small nib. It's perfect for getting thin lines. Um, a lot of the issues I run into with uh, metallic traditional paint markers I come across is they're never fine enough. So this is excellent. You can see how I'm getting these really thin, fluid, nice lines. I don't really do any cartooning, but I will definitely be getting more of these liners for myself because this is one of the best paint markers I've ever used. I also am really enjoying this pencil. I'm definitely more of a mechanical pencil girl myself usually, but I really like this one because it reminds me of kind of an in-between of an ebony pencil and a regular lead pencil. Um, I'm getting really, really dark, high contrast here, and it's very smooth. Just the feel of it um, is very, very blendable. It just glides right across the paper, if that makes any sense. It just has one of those good pencil feels that just makes you really happy while you're using it. So I'm actually really happy with this little vintage style Halloween blue pumpkin ACO I drew together with these supplies. All in all, another great box. I never really get a bad box with art snacks. I normally love everything. Um, my least favorite, again, is probably the acrylic ink, but it still wasn't even that bad. Um, as you can see, it had really rich color. It visually looks nice. So again, personal preference. This was a short one this time, but still, thank you so much for watching. and. I will be back next month with another unboxing. I'm also doing Inktober and will be posting videos of my ACOs that I'm drawing for that. I'm not really following the themes, I'm just kind of doing my own thing, but still should be fun, so be sure to follow to see those. And all these little ACOs I'm making will be available for sale in my eBay shop, so if one strikes your fancy and you'd like to get your hands on the original, check that out as well. Thanks for watching.